What's up guys, Hong OG Fitness. You guys know what time it is. So in this video, we're gonna talk about if judo is enough for self-defense. This is a question from our friend uh, Anonymous. I got this uh, by email. I'm interested in judo and was wondering, can judo be used against untrained people without killing them? For example, I don't want their head to hit the concrete and die, but I want to win the fight. Thanks for the question, Anonymous. I appreciate that. Um, it's, a, it's a great question, actually. Yes, absolutely. You can use judo and not kill somebody, uh, you know, somebody who's untrained. For the most part, when you want to throw somebody in judo, okay, like in practice, what we do when we don't want to hurt our, our partners is that we actually hold the sleeve, one of the sleeves. That way only one shoulder lands because if only one shoulder lands as opposed to two, you, your head won't, uh, uh, won't hit the ground. If you get into a fight and you throw somebody, well, usually what happens when you get into a fight is adrenaline is going to be high, you know, so you're going to be pretty amped up. Uh, you're going to be, it's going to be very hard to control yourself. That's the risk of using judo in a street fight. You know, you're not gonna half-ass it. Like if you grab a guy, you're fighting, the adrenaline's on, you're gonna throw really hard. You're gonna use all your strength, all your power, and you're gonna forget about that control aspect of it. If that person is untrained, they're gonna get messed up. So they're gonna get hurt. Judo is actually not enough uh, uh, for, for self-defense. For mo most schools are very throw heavy and it's a grappling art. And the thing is, you can't just go towards somebody, grab them and throw them. You actually do have to have some level of, at the minimum, some boxing skills so you don't get knocked out, so you don't just walk in with your chin very high and no guard and uh, you know, no understanding of distance and, 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 and punching and all that. One of my old coaches um, got into a scrap at one point. This guy has 25 years of judo and he grew up in that environment and so, and he's been competing and he was really high level back in his country and all that. You know, we're walking out of uh, a bar uh, this was a little while ago. I think it was one or two years ago or something like that, or maybe a little bit longer. And, and then, of course, we got into a altercation with a drunk guy, and the drunk guy wanted to fight. You know, they were, they were just going on and off, uh, back and forth. They were cussing each other out. One of the guys we were with <laughs> decided to say, ask the drunk guy, hey, you want him? All right, let's go. You two, you, you know, you guys don't like each other? Go, we'll, we'll stay out of it. So we stood there and watched. He goes in. And of course, the first thing he does is starts leg kicking the shit out of him. You know, two free leg kicks and the guy ended up like on the street and his leg was finished and then he essentially ran away. 25 years of judo or 30, 25, 30 years of judo. And the best you could come up with is leg kicks. Like you didn't go grab the guy and do anything. There is a reasoning behind it because I talked to my coach afterwards at that time and I told him, hey, like, well, what happened there? And you know, no judo. <laughs> He's like, man, you know, like, um, it's the adrenaline and the first thing you want to do when, when tension is high, adrenaline is high and you, and you feel that danger is you just, your natural instinct is to throw hands or throw feet. If you want to come in and grab the guy, well, first of all, you got to make sure that he doesn't have anything on him. Like he doesn't have anything in his hands that could mess you up, like a knife or anything like that. Because judo, remember, it's a, yes, it's a martial arts, but depending on how you train it, you know, for the most part, it's a sport too. And when, the way you train it in like in, uh, in a, in a club on the tatami, very different from a street fight. If it's the only thing you do, and if it's the only thing you know, you need to add some, some striking in there. You don't want to throw people for fun in the street. It could go really wrong, really wrong. Uh, you might end up viral video, but you also end your, land your ass in jail. So the best way to duplicate that adrenaline, in my opinion, is competition, right? Because even though it's not street fighting and you're not killing anybody and there's rules and all that, you still get that nervousness because the guy in front of you wants to throw your ass. And that's it. All right, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's going to bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms. And you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing, guys. If you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.